All right, guys. So first, we need to remove the engine cover. Then we need to remove these clips here, down here as well. So these clips, they just uh, come out of here like this and then remove this 10 millimeter. You can just use some pliers and take it off of this clip. Don't forget to get this one on the bottom as well. Next, use a O2 socket and get that O2 sensor out. I um, pre-oiled it so I already loosened it up. Just simply take it out of there. Next, you need to remove the heat shield. There's a 10 millimeter bolt here, a 10 millimeter bolt here, one behind here. Um, one down there. Take those off, take the shield off. You get the shield partially out of the way there. You need to get these 14 millimeter nuts off, off of here. So there's four, one, one here, one straight down, one here and one straight down. Can't really see it. Um, but what I've heard, it, the one down here on the bottom, that one's a really hard to get to. Uh, so I might use a swivel and a three inch extension and a ratchet. Make sure you squirt them with a WD-40 and be very, very careful not to cross thread the threads. Now you need to remove the mid section of the catback exhaust and um, 19 millimeter, one there and one on the other side. And then back there as well. Now with the mid section off, you have to go in there get those uh, right there it's a uh, 19 millimeter and three quarter and then one on top you might need to get uh, some extensions to get at it and take this this um, resonator off and then the the o-rings here the clamps that hold down the exhaust. So now that the half of the downpipe is off, we need to get the cat off. And right there, there's two 14 millimeter bolts holding the cat to the engine. Um, there's hardly any access through here. So my best bet is to go through the wheel here this and then as you can see you can see the bolts right there you can see my hand right there get it with a ratchet here it's gonna be kind of cumbersome but you can get it so now the cat is um, loose so you need to fish it out and then turn it and then out but first you need to remove this um, motor mount here the bottom motor mount 19 millimeter here and move the engine forward a little bit so you can get the cat out so I was mistaken the actual bolt here is a, uh, a 17 millimeter and the ones that hold it here are 14 millimeter. This is the <clears throat> old uh, downpipe is off. This is the one, the new one, sixth element. Make sure to transfer this O2 sensor to this one. And um, whenever you install this one back, put the other O2 sensor on. And yeah. Alright guys, so I snaked it 
up through the bottom and now it's time to put your bolts down here and your uh, submit section on the, um, of the cat back exhaust put your O2 sensor here and um, put your gasket on the bottom over there in the mid section don't forget that and uh, get it bundled up make sure you put the the motor mount here it goes right there and um, I still gotta do the <clears throat> mid section and bolt it up all right guys everything's bundled up here make sure you use the hardware provided from six element I actually took this shield off so I put it back on. Make sure to put your grommets back on here. Your hangers. This hanger right here. Don't forget to put your exhaust um, gaskets here and then back there. Up on top on the <clears throat> where it meets up the, uh, on the turbo. The motor mounts on. So let's just get everything buttoned up. up up top and away we go when putting on the heat shields remember that this one goes first one bolt here one bolt in the back and one bolt here then this portion of the heat shield goes on it's this bolt right here and then this bolt right here then this one folds over and then it goes with that bolt right there and lastly put your clips back on your bracket here, the bracket I took off of here, put it back on, put your clip, this one here, this one here, here, and um, getting ready to start it here. Alright, we're going to start it up here. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to take it for a test drive. Put some clips at the end here. Thank you.